Well, every story or every town rather has a story, but it's getting that story told and preserved that can be very difficult. Yeah, but as Curtis Jackson shows us this evening, one Iowa Park woman is hoping the community will step up and help her to tell the story of Iowa Park through items and documents donated to the new Iowa Park Museum. If it's something important to them, it's important to me. Vicki Mitchell has a passion, and that passion is sharing the rich history of Iowa Park to residents who visit the newly opened museum right in the middle of the small town. A small town that she says has big history. This town has bukus of history, and a lot of kids, a lot of the new people do not know all of it. Like uh, half of them don't even know we used to have a Miss Iowa Park. Contest. And as the acquisitioner of the museum, Mitchell has been hard at work collecting pieces of history throughout the town, from old typewriters to school memorabilia to even pictures that are nearly a century old and so much more. This is from begging, pleading, asking, going to people saying, would you please donate? And they keep saying, you want money? I said, I want that letterman's jacket. I want that jersey. I want that class ring. And for Mitchell, some of these items serve a bigger purpose than being educational. She has a wall dedicated to her father, Wiley McDaniel, who graduated from Iowa Park back in 1942. It makes me feel closer to him because I know his stories from Iowa Park and he really loved Iowa Park. And Mitchell is hoping her newest addition coming to the museum will bring in more visitors, an exhibit honoring the late sculptor Jack Stevens. I'm fixing to get a buggy. His buggy, that's why it's so empty over there. It's, we're having to make room for this buggy. It's going to be put in Wednesday night. I am so excited about that. And she says when it comes to folks donating or loaning out items, she wants it all. I want everything. I want, don't care how big, how small. I need it. To bring us back to our history, we've got to do this. History that Mitchell will continue to preserve for future generations who are adding to that history each and every day. Curtis Jackson, KFDX 3 News. Oh, this is so exciting. So cool. As you heard there, Mitchell is accepting donations or loans of items of all kinds. So if you're interested in helping out and donating, just give her a call. Yeah, we're going to have that contact information for you inside the story on TexomasHomePage.com. I love it.